but ye have set at naught on my counsel. You have sat at naught on my counsel. And that's what our people do. You know what I'm saying? They don't want to change. What's up, brother? What's up? What's up with you, brother? You right there, brother. Shalom, shalom. What's up, King? What's up, bro? What's your name, man? What's your name? Wilson, do you believe in God? Do you believe in the, do you believe in the most high? Huh? What what what, what you out here what, what what you got going on out in the streets? What's going on? Huh? Huh? Just, just doing what? Just participate in your life. But you you won't have to participate in it if you come to the most high God. Give me uh give me uh Psalms 119 and 105. Let me show you something real quick. You know what I'm saying? Because you ain't gotta participate. God already laid it out for you. And he'll show you the path to walk on. You know what I'm saying? We haven't been out in these streets. We haven't been out here doing everything on dope, on drugs, robbing, killing, shooting, in the prison, in penitentiary. We've done all these things. If God could redeem us out of all, he could redeem our brothers out of all as well. Psalm 119 and 105. Read that. Watch this, brother. God, this is the book of Psalms. Chapter 119 and 105. Psalms 119 and 105. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 119, verse 105. Read. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet. Read that again. The word is a lamp unto my feet. The word is a lamp unto our feet. You know what I'm saying? Meaning what a lamp do when you're in the dark? It gives you light, right? So this word will give you light unto your life. Read. And a light unto my path. And a light unto your path, meaning the way you're going, it'll light onto your path. Give me all uh, uh, Proverbs. Uh, three and start at one. Cause the, the the commandments is a light onto your path. This word teach you things, and it'll bring you out of anything that you in any problems that you have. God will bring you out of it. Cause that's what we got to do as a people. We got to repent. Cause standing sin is not going to help you. You know what I'm saying? And you should know that looking at your age, if you caught out there in sin and doing the same thing over, you ain't progressing in life because why? God ain't going to let you prosper in sin. You're not going to prosper in wickedness. You understand what I'm saying, brother? Read that though. Let me show you something. It's the book of Proverbs chapter 3 verse 1. Come on. My son, forget not my law. Read that again. My son. My what? My son. So he's talking to us and he's talking to you. My son. Because you are the son of God. Read. Forget not my law. Read. But let thine heart keep my commandment. Do what? Let thy heart keep my commandments. You got to learn to keep God's commandments because that's when you're going to prosper. Read. For length of days. For what? For length of days. Because keeping God's commandments give you length of days. It give you a longer life and it'll give you a prosperous life. But if you in sin and you in wickedness, it's going to shorten your days and you ain't going to have a prosperous life. You're going to have a hard life. You're going to have a bitter life if you forsake God's commandments. Read. For length of days Come on. and long life. For what? For length of days and long life. Come on. And peace. And what? And peace. And peace. That's what the, the, the word brings to you. Peace in your life. You ain't going to get no peace out here in this world. Read on. Shall they add to thee. And peace that it shall add to you. Give me Matthew 11 and uh, 28. Peace with this word uh, add on to you. There ain't no peace in my life. You know what I'm saying? I'm out there selling drugs. I'm looking over my bike. One thing is I'm going to get killed today. One is this, one is how I'm going to do this. Trying to deal with three or four women, paying bills, here and there. Ain't no no peace in my life. But when I repented and I learned about God, this one I had peace in my life. Read this one. This is the book of St. Matthew chapter 11 verse 28. Come on. Come unto me. What did he say? Come unto me. Now this is Christ speaking. This is the black Messiah. We ain't talking about white Jesus. Christ was a black man according to the Bible. Just like you, with Willie Hair, got his beard on, just like you. We the spin image of the Messiah. We. All ye that labor and are heavy laden. Don't you see our people out here laboring heavy laden? Our people worrying all the time. Our people living in the gutter, don't know what's going on. They can't, don't know what day gonna happen. Don't know if they going or coming from this day to the other. We just lost in the south. Just gonna out here. 
that's walking about wondering, don't know what's going on. Read. And I will give you rest. And what Christ say? I will give you rest. And Christ say he will give you rest. That's the only rest you're going to get. Because I ain't getting no rest. I'm 43 years old. I just got rest five years ago when I came into the truth. And I met my elders and my brothers them, and they taught me this word. That's when I finally got peace in my life. Read. Verse 29. Come on. Take my yoke upon you. Take this what? My yoke upon you. God said take this yoke, his long statute commandments and this word. Take it upon you, brother. Read. And learn of me. And you need to learn of Christ and his, and his, his, his father. That's what we got to learn of. Read. For I am meek. For, uh, for he is what? For I am meek. For he is meek. Read. And lowly. And lowly. Come on. And hard. And hard. Because why? Christ is humble. That's what we got to do. We got to be humble and not thinking we know everything. Because we're try living this life doing what we want to do. How did it work out? Doing what you want to do. Has it worked out real good doing what you want to do? Huh? I'm just saying, you doing what you want to do, how, how, how's life been to you? You know what I'm saying? Because when I was doing what I wanted to do, hey, life, 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 I was lost in the source. I was out here struggling, going through things, right? Is you not going through things? That's right, because why? We following our own way. We doing what we want to do. You know what I'm saying? And what we want to do is going to lead us to destruction. Read that there. And ye shall find rest unto your souls. Read that again. And ye shall find rest unto your soul. You ain't going to never have rest to your soul, brother, until you come back and repent to God and come back to him as an Israelite. Give me uh, Psalms of Solomon 3 and 1. You're not going to have rest to your soul until you come back to the Most High God. Because I... What would you say that? Say what? Satisfaction in your heart. Let me show you something. Give me uh, uh, Jeremiah 17 and 9. Ain't no satisfaction in your heart. Let me show you something. Do you, you believe in God, right, brother? You believe in God? All right, let me show you something real quick before you get to that. Give me Jeremiah 17 and 9. You say you have satisfaction in your heart, right? Let me show you what God said about your heart. Read that. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17 and verse 9. Come on. The heart. The what? The heart. That's what you were talking about, satisfaction in your heart, right? Read. The heart is deceitful above all things. The Lord say your heart is deceitful above all things. Read. And desperately wicked. What your heart is? Desperately wicked. Read. Who can know it? God say you can't know your heart. Because it's a desperately wicked thing. Because you, what you do that make you think you feel good is good to you. It might be totally wrong. You know what I'm saying? Because if it ain't according to God's word, it's wrong anyway. It might, you might think it's right. But it's wrong. You know what I'm saying? Give me real quick while you go to a song. Give me Proverbs 14 and 12. You know what I'm saying? Because don't don't get me wrong. When I was out there selling dope, I thought I was right. When I was getting high, I thought it was right. When I was snoring dope, I thought I was right. When I was being a fornicator, sleeping from woman to woman to woman to woman, I thought I was right. But it's a way that seems right unto a man. Read that there. Right. 14, 12. Proverbs 14, 12. Come on. the book of Proverbs chapter 14, verse 12. Come on. There is a way which seemeth right unto a man. There's a way that seems right to you. When you do something that feels right to you, you smoke it feel right to you. You hit that dope it feel right to you. You sleep with that woman it feel right to you. It's a way that seems right unto a man. Read. But the end thereof. But the outcome of that is what? Are the ways of death. Is the ways of what? The ways of death. And that's the ways of death. That's why you see so much death in our communities. All Everywhere you go where the so-called black man and black woman at, all you see is chaos, death, and destruction. Why? Because we stay in sin. We love being in sin. And we got to come out of sin as a people. Because you don't come out of sin, give me uh, Romans 6 and 23. Because we got to change as a people. We can't keep walking down a crooked path and think it's going to end up straight at the end. Do that make sense? If, you walk, if you're doing wickedness, don't you think you're going to get wickedness back in return? Right. So you got to want to change. Do you want to change, brother? You can go to work. 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 Right. But, but money, money can't help you. I done had plenty of money. I had money to go anywhere I want to. I can go anywhere I want to. I was never happy. I could buy any clothes that I want to. I was never happy. I could sleep with any woman I want to. I was never happy. I can go and travel anywhere I want to, and I was never happy. 
Know why I wasn't happy? Because I didn't know the Lord. Read that there real quick. It's the book of Romans chapter 6 verse 23. Come on. For the wages of sin Read. is death. For what? For the wages of sin Come is on. death. The wages of sin is death. Being in sin all the time is only one outcome to that. It's death. If you shooting dope forever, that's eventually you're going to OD, eh? Ain't it? Eventually. Don't you see it? Don't you see it, brother? That's right, but you shouldn't be doing it anyway, though. You know what I'm saying? You shouldn't be doing it anyway. You mean yeah. if you got enough sins? No. You, you you can't have no sins in doing dope. <laughs> right, but see, that's what I'm saying. It's a better way than that. Better way is coming back to the Lord. Read that again from the top. For the wages of sin is death. Because when you're in sin, you find yourself in the Lord's condition, doing all kind of things that you wouldn't normally do in your right state of mind. Right. Read. But the gift of the Most High is eternal life. Because God give you eternal life. Read. Through Hamashiach Yahushai. Right through Christ His Son. Mm -hmm. That's right. Give me uh, uh, Psalms of Solomon three and one. So we got to learn how to change as a people, brother. Because if you if you don't change. A destruction is waiting for you. You know what I'm saying? And we trying to pull you because because God already brought you over him. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. many people walk past us and never come. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You walk in this pathway, God brought you here for you to hear this word, this glorious gospel, the good news. Let you know it's time to change and come out the lifestyle you in. Yeah. You got to want to change. Because yeah. if you don't want to change, it ain't nothing gonna good going to happen to you. If you stay in that same thing that you in, ain't nothing waiting for you but death and destruction. Read that up. Is the book, Songs of Solomon, chapter 3, verse 1. Come on. By night on my bed, I sought him. Right. By night on my bed, I sought him. Read. Who my soul loveth. Who my what? Who my soul loveth. Your soul love the most high. So by, uh, by night, I wake up on my bed, and I seek who my soul loveth. Watch this him. Read. I sought him, but I found him not. See, so you be seeking the Lord, but you find him not. See, that's what our people be doing. And watch this. I'm going to show you what all our people be doing out in these streets all the time. Read that up. Con. I will rise now and go about the city and the streets. What, what, what are they going to do? Go about the city and the streets. And that's what our people do. You rise up off your bed and you go about the city and the streets. And you're always searching for something. You, but you don't know what you're searching for. Watch this. Read. And in the broad ways, I will seek him. Whom my soul love it. And your soul love the most high God and his son. So you, you our people get up, you wander in the street, but what? You always get sidetracked. You wonder what you're looking for, see? You get up and you go. You looking for God, but what? I found me a cigarette today. I found me some dope to smoke. I found me some woman to sleep with. That's what you found, because your soul is always looking. And you wonder what you're looking for. And then you find it, then you back looking for it again. Why you think you're always looking? You get what you're looking for, dope, and you back looking again. You get what you're looking for, woman, and you back wanting again. Why your soul started wondering? Because it's looking for who it loves. It loves the Most High God. It loves His Son. Read. I sought Him, right, but I found Him not. Come here, brother. Don't leave. Don't walk away. Don't walk away, bro. Hey, hey, God stretching out His hand for you. Give me Proverbs one and uh, twenty-three. God stretching out his hand for you. You know what I'm saying? We might don't never see you again. You might walk away from this and, 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 and something crazy happened to you. God reaching out to you. He ain't going to come off his throne and reach out to you. He come out here in the mouth of a prophet and tell you, reach out to his people. That's right. That's what we come to do. To try to grab our people out of this lifestyle that they live in. Out of doing drugs. Out of doing dope. Out of killing, robbing, and hating one another. We try to pull our people out of this thing. Read that up. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 1, verse 23. Sorry, that's 22. Okay, verse 22. Come on. How long, ye simple ones, will you love simplicity? Come on. And the and the scorners delight in their scorning. Our people delight in their scorning. They delight in doing the evil things that they're doing. Read. And fools hate knowledge. Come on. And fools hate knowledge. Read on. Turn you at my reproof. God said turn at your, his reproof, meaning his correction. We are here trying to correct our people right now. Come on. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. God said he'll pour out his spirit unto you, brother. Read. I will make known my words unto you. He gonna make known his words, meaning his understanding unto you. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to pull you out of the depths of hell and bring you to life. Read. 
Because I have called. God said what? Because I have called. He call. He calling you right now. He ain't gonna get off the throne and come call you, brother. He ain't gonna crack the spire and reach out and say, "Hey, it's time for you to come in." He calling you now. He reaching out to you. Read. And ye refused. And he did what? And ye refused. You was about to walk away. When God's stretching out his arm to you, we begging you, brother, it's time to repent and come back home. But you keep walking down that crooked path that you're on, you never know what the outcome might be. Read. I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. God said he's stretching out his hand to you and no man regarded. You don't even regard it when he's reaching out to you. Read on. Verse 20 to 25. Come on. But ye have set at naught all my counsel. You have sat at naught all his counsel. And that's what our people do. You know what I'm saying? They don't want to change. They love to be in their sin. You know what I'm saying? They love sin for a season.